Okay, thank you very much. Then we're moving on to the next speaker, uh, Nildara Misra from the Indian Institute of Technology at Gandhi Nagar. Uh, the floor is yours. All right, thanks very much. Uh, hello, everybody. So I would like to just talk about um, a cute open problem that I think I found. Um, hopefully it's not something simple that's just completely escaping me, uh, based on something that uh, we've been looking at recently. So uh, we're going to be talking about the fair division of indivisible um, goods uh, with potentially mixed valuations. And when we also allow agents to possibly share um so um so usually uh we encounter hardness statements uh which use phrases like this problem is hard even when valuations are identical typically this is because of some connection with a partition type problem and one question we want to ask is what if the narrative was not even when preferences are identical but perhaps when uh, only when preferences are identical. So that brings us to the question of how do we, uh, how do we uh, capture the identicalness of um, valuations? Well, one way to do this is using the so-called degeneracy concept, uh, which is uh, the largest number of items that are similarly valued by any pair of agents. And we say that items are similarly valued by a pair of agents if the ratios of their valuations are the same. So um, it's uh, straightforward to check that the degeneracy of a profile that consists of identical valuations is as large as it can be, which is M minus one, uh, where M is the number of goods. Uh, whereas uh, on the other extreme, the degeneracy could be as small as zero when this happens when no pair of codes are valued in the same way by anybody. Uh, so it turns out that finding uh, complete uh, EF allocations continues to be hard, even for uh, instances that have very low degeneracy, which would be the other end of the spectrum where everything is non-identical. Uh, but uh, if we insist on uh, EF allocations, which are fractionally Pareto optimal, then we have um, an algorithm. And this is, by the way, uh, work uh, that came out last year on the archive by Feder Sandomirsky and Edel segel halvi So um, the situation here is that if you look at the form of the running time, uh, it's quite nice when the number of agents is fixed, uh, but uh, it kind of blows up if uh, if they're not. So the question uh, that I'm wondering about is what happens if the number of agents is unbounded and the degeneracy is still small? Uh, can we uh, can we do better? And uh, to this end. Uh, we have some uh, observations. Uh, one is that if um, if the number of agents is unbounded and the degeneracy is um, you know constant, uh, we do get uh, NP hardness. So so we can show that it's NP hard for um, instances with a large number of agents with bounded degeneracy. But what is not clear is if uh, the problem is. Uh, fixed parameter tractable as it were in the combined parameter number of agents and degeneracy. So uh, based on the results that are already floating around, we know that some combinations of running times are ruled out and it's um, uh, the possibilities that are shown here um, are, are ruled out just as consequences of the existing NP hardness results. But, uh, but it's still not clear if we might get something, uh, we may have an algorithm whose running time is of the form, uh, some exponential function of both uh, D and N. Uh, as I say, it'd be great to know if I'm just missing something um, uh, that's um, uh, otherwise um, uh, straightforward, but, but we thought it was in interesting. Uh, so actually I'm more or less done here. I just want to uh, spend maybe 30 seconds talking about why I think uh, uh, instances with constant or low degeneracy are interesting. Uh, so unlike voting where uh, all valuation, uh, all preferences being the same uh, is an, probably an indicator of high consensus because everyone feels the same way about a certain um, set of issues. 
in the resource allocation problems, it would seem as if having identical valuations is actually a, a situation with contention. Um, so, uh, so it seems like low degeneracy means that agents are friendly and they agree. The question is, can we do better here? So I'll call it a wrap with that. Thank you very much. Perfectly in time, even faster. Thank you. But there was one question already in the chat. I hope maybe more will come. And I think Peter wants to ask one as well. So go ahead, Peter, you can. And now you're muted. Now Sorry, you're muted. I didn't have a question. Okay. That's oh, okay. unusual, but uh, we can handle that, yes. Uh, <laughs> So I think there was a question about what sharing means. Uh, so this is simply uh, um, the fact that when you're uh, allocating the resources, uh, they don't have to be, uh, so typically you would give uh, one item to one agent, uh, but now you can distribute this item. Uh, so you basically allow for fractional entries in the, in the, in the allocation. And uh, of course you want it to be normalized to one, et cetera. But uh, in practice, this just means that maybe a resource can be time shared between agents, et cetera. I hope that answers the question. Okay, any other questions? Yes, there's one coming. Um, so, uh, no, no, so uh, for binary valuations, this is actually tractable because once you insist on low degeneracy and binary, uh, there are only so many distinct, uh, so the whole instance is bounded as a function of the degeneracy and the number of distinct values. It's actually a small technical subtlety with binary valuations because of how zero entries are handled in the definition of degeneracy, but I can speak more to that offline. Yeah. Oh, I meant uh, binary encoding, so. Is oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Weekend, so, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. So our NP hardness result is, uh, is a strong hardness result. So all our valuations are uh, uh, polynomially bounded. Uh, on, but on the other hand, the, the other NP hardness results are not. So they're based on, again, partition uh, type problems. So it's a good point. Okay, cool. Thanks. Like one last question. There's a question of Hadi in the chat. Uh, and Right. Um, so, um, so interestingly, uh, our first hardness results actually uh, uh, worked with this version where we had precious goods that couldn't be shared and things like this. Um, and we really viewed them as assumptions that we uh, eventually got rid of from the algorithmic side. This is a perfectly reasonable variation, but you might have selfish agents and, you know, valuable goods that are just not up for sharing. And I have actually no idea. Sorry. So. All right. Thank you very much.